Gypsum is a mineral that consists of calcium sulfate dihydrate. It is one of those minerals that is considered to be an evaporite. Gypsum forms when evaporation of water allows oxygen to bond with the surrounding sulfur to create sulfate. The sulfate will then bond with surrounding calcium and water. Gypsum has a chemical formula of CaSO4 with two water molecules. Gypsum was formed when the climate changed to evaporate larger bodies of water. This left behind condensed concentrations of sulfur and calcium in sedimentary beds, allowing the formation of this mineral. In some cases, gypsum can be found in between layers of sediment with additional layers of gypsum on top or below previous layers. This would indicate that the body of water experienced multiple droughts where it dried up, then refilled, and then dried up again. Though gypsum is typically formed as flattened, one-directional plane crystals, varieties of this formation can be found. As an example, you can find rose-like formations called desert rose, also known as gypsum rose. The common color of gypsum is colorless, or clear, to varieties of whites and grays. There are some instances where the color can be yellow, blue, pink, tan, and brown to reddish brown. Gypsum is commonly used as a fertilizer to help improve soil for agricultural use. Other common uses of gypsum will be in some building materials such as plasters, paints, and drywalls. Gypsum is also used in chalk, cosmetics, drugs, and even hygiene products. Specimens of gypsum can be purchased and displayed in homes and other locations as the beauty of the mineral in its natural form can certainly catch your eye. One of the most common specimens of gypsum sold and displayed is selenite. Gypsum does not carry a lot of monetary worth due to its abundance throughout the world. However, the worth or value of gypsum in our modern day society is very impactful. Many of our day-to-day -day products and necessities in life have gypsum contained within them. For those of you that would like a specimen of gypsum for display or for other uses, you will not have to pay too high a price. Do be careful though, those specimens can be fairly fragile and will break easily. Thanks for viewing. For more information on gypsum and other rocks and minerals, visit rockandmineralplanet.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Rock and Mineral Planet to support this channel. For more information on rocks and minerals or rock and mineral collecting, stop by rockandmineralplanet.com.